Doshi classes. Friends, in this video, we are going to study an all-time favorite poem of everyone who is a fan of literature. Friends, this poem is also the favorite of examiners and the paper setters. Therefore, it is important from this point of view as well. Well, the name of the poem is All the World's a Stage, penned by an English poet, Sir William Shakespeare. There is absolutely no one in the field of art who doesn't know about him. William Shakespeare was a popular English poet, actor as well as a playwright. He is one who has brought to us the fine script like Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet and he is often called as England's national poet and the band of Avon. This poem is taken from his play As You Like It. Here he compares the world to a stage where the drama of human life is enacted. In fact, it can be said that this poem is in the form of monologue in which the poet explains the seven stages of man's life. Before going into the poem, please hit the like and subscribe button, watch the video till the end and so let's begin with the poem. Okay. All the world's a stage and all the men and women are merely players. They have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being the seven ages. In this lines, the poem compares the world to a st stage. All men and women are merely actors or the players on the stage of this world. When they are born, they enter the stage and when they die, they leave the stage. Every person in his lifetime plays many parts. Like a person is someone's son, someone's brother, someone's uncle, someone's father, someone's grandfather, someone's friend. That is, a person plays many roles in his life and this part are the seven ages or the seven stages of the human life. At first, the infant, mewling and plucking in the nurse's arm, then the winning schoolboy with his satchel and Shining morning face, creeping like a snail, unwilling to school. The first stage of man's life is his infancy, that is when he is a baby. During this infancy, he cries, throws milk up and vomits when he is in the hand of his mother or a nurse. The second stage, he is a school going boy who don't like to go to school. His face shines like the bright and fresh morning. He goes to the school with his satchel, that is his school bag, and, spend, and at the speed of the snail, uh, that is, he goes very slowly to the school. This may be because he is un unwilling to go to the school. And then a lover, shining like a furnace, with a woeful ballad, made for his mistress' eyebrow. In the third stage of man's life, he grows up, he is a grown-up person. Now in the form of a lover, he shies like a furnace or a oven who loves his beloved passionately. He writes the song praising his beloved's eyebrows. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and beard like a part, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking a bubble reputation, even in the cannon's mouth. The fourth stage of the life is like a soldier. When the, men is, when the men are stronger and often eager and able to prove their manhood. They develop the ability to grow a beer and maybe they, are, they often grow it to prove their manliness. They are happy to fight and defend their honor. The man in the Shakespeare's fourth stage of the life isn't necessarily a soldier. This is to demonstrate how violent a man can be at this stage of life. He is full of strange oath, that is unusual promises. He is willing to swear on lot of things, however odd it may be. He is jealous of his honor and willing to fight at the drop of the hat. He seeks a bubble reputation, means he wants a great reputation quickly, without really working for it. The trouble for the bubble is that, they are empty and they burst easily. 
he will fight at the cannon's mouth means he takes the foolish risk and then a justice in fair round belly and good cap on line with the eyes severe and the beard of formal cut full of wise saws and modern instances so he plays his part here the shakespeare describes as the fifth stage of the life that is of justice now the man has become the middle aged and matured like a judge and has a fairly round belly he is matured because of his experience that he has gained till the this till this stage of life he has grown fat because he enjoys the prosperity the self satisfaction and the wisdom he has beard of formal cut he always shares his wisdom with the others and given and gives the current examples for the better and for the better understanding this is how he plays his role in this stage going to the next stage the sixth stage shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloons with spectacles on the nose and the pouch on the side his youthful hoofs well served a uh, world to wide for his shrunk shank and his big manly voice turned against towards the childish tables pipes and whistles in his sound in the sixth stage of man's life in this stage the band shifts from the middle age to the old age now he wears pantaloons with the slippers on his feet pantaloon means a loose pant his pant lo- looks loose maybe because he has become too thin and weak he wears the spectacles on his nose because of his weak eyesight he has also the purse by his side he uses a long socks which he has saved during his youngness now the socks are loose and look strange his big loud manly voice has now become weak like the voice of a child when he tries to speak he sounds as if he is playing upon a pipe or as if they were whistling this may be because some of his teeth have fallen last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history is the second childishness and a mere oblivion sang's teeth sang's eyes sang's taste sang's everything in this stage of the man's life he has changed from the old to very old person this is a strange stage of life in this period all of the life which he has previously full of the strange events comes to an end man has become a child once again this is like the second childhood as at this stage he forgets almost everything his memory has become very weak he loses his teeth his eyesight and the taste this is the stage in which he completes the drama of his life and leaves the stage of this world for the next friends let's now understand the central idea of the poem all the worlds a stage this poem is in the form of a monologue from the shakespeare's play as you like it as we can see the reflection of the life in this poem we can find out the different role of the man that he plays in his whole life while reading the poem one realizes that life is nothing but a mere play or a drama where each actor has his own role to play he enters a play to enter into this play all you need to do is to take the birth and then to play your role that is perform your duties and alas exit the state by the universal truth that is the death by this one completes the drama of the life the poem is full of metaphor that is indirect comparison the world is compared to a stage the men and women are compared to the players the birth and death is compared to the entrance and exit the poem is in the form of blank verse 
there is no rhyming scheme but there is a steady rhyme of 5 beats in each in each 5 line hope you have understood the poem well that's all for this video see you again in the next goodbye till then have a nice day